okay, check this out. So I made this dribble app concept and prototyped it, but that's not what I wanted to show you. What I did want to show you is this little cool icon like animation that I've created. So let's create it together. Alright, welcome back to the channel. My name is Gal Barzilai and I'm a product designer and today my friends we're gonna learn how to create this like animation in Figma. Now keep in mind that you can apply this technique to any kind of icon you like to use in your prototypes. Let's get into it. So I have this little heart shape right here and it's a vector inside of a group. By the way you can create this shape by yourself or download it from Figma community. The first thing we're gonna do is select our shape and hit on option command K to create a component. Okay great so we have our, our little component. Now you can tell this shape is made of two vector layers. So what I'm gonna do I'm gonna select both layers and hit on shift command G to put them inside of a group and let's rename the group shape now I'm gonna select the shape and I'm gonna hit command D to duplicate it I'm gonna take the duplicated layer and I'm gonna hit K to use the scale tool and scale it down all the way to 8 pixels something like that that's good now I'm gonna select the, sh the little shape and I'm gonna go to fill and I'm gonna give it some kind of a purple pink color. Now I'm gonna select the little shape again and I'm gonna hold option on my keyboard and drag another shape of it. And I'm gonna put it right here. And again, I'm gonna hold down option and drag one more shape. And let's put it here. So you can see that inside of my component, I have small three heart shapes and one big heart shape. Now I'm gonna select my entire component and I'm gonna add a variant to it. So the first one is the default variant and the second one is variant two and let's rename it to pushed. Now one more time, I'm gonna select my component and I'm gonna add another variant to it by clicking on this little plus icon right here. And this one, I'm gonna name it field. Now it's time to make design changes to each variant. If we take a look at the default variant, I'm gonna select the three heart shapes. I'm gonna go to the fill opacity and I'm gonna bring it all the way down to zero until we can't see them anymore. And this is how we want our default shape to look like. Now let's go to the pushed variant and I'm gonna take the little hearts and I'm gonna bring them up a little bit. And this one is completely up to you, you can align them the way you like. But what you have to make sure of is that the little shapes are still inside the variant layer. I'm using the arrows on my keyboard to make sure of that. Put them just like that. Now I'm gonna select the big shape and I'm gonna give it the same fill color. And there you go, this is how we want the pushed variant to look like. Now let's design the filled variant. So again, I'm gonna select all three little hearts and I'm gonna bring the opacity all the way down to zero so I won't see them. But I'm gonna select the big shape and I'm gonna give it the same fill color from our pushed variant. Okay, so we have our default variant look, our pushed variant look, and our field variant look. So now the second step is to prototype it. I'm gonna go to my prototype tab. I'm gonna select my default variant. And I'm gonna drag the plus icon to the second variant. Now in the interaction details, I'm gonna keep the first option on tab, change to uh, the pushed variant. And for the animation, I'm gonna change it from instant to smart animate. Let's choose ease in and out back. That will create some kind of bouncy animation between the two variants. Let's select the push variant and drag the plus arrow to the field variant. Now in the interaction details, let's change the on tab to after delay. After delay tells Figma to move on to the next variant on the time we set it. So I'm gonna set it to 500 milliseconds. We're gonna keep it on smart animate and is in and out back. Next step is we're gonna choose the field variant and drag an arrow to the first variant. We're gonna keep it on smart animate 
And instead of ease in and out back, we're gonna choose ease in and out. Now remember, if you wanna preview your prototype, you have to create a frame first. So I'm gonna click F on my keyboard and I'm gonna create a frame. Let's make it 72 by 72. And I'm gonna go to the default variant. I'm gonna hold down option on my keyboard and drag an instant of that variant to our frame. Let's align it in the middle. Let's select our frame, go to prototype and make sure we add in a flow to that frame. And check this out. If we click on the heart icon, all the little hearts pops up and disappear. If we click again, it goes back to the default variant. Let's see that again. And that's it, pretty easy, right? By the way, if you like to preview this on your phone, check out this Figma mirror video I've created. I'll link it up here or down below. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope you like this quick tutorial. Let me know in the comments if there's any Figma or product design topic you'd like me to cover. Go follow my work on Instagram. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.